Okay, we're recording now. Cool. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hi. This is Ananda and Ramaji, and we want to talk about the value of getting rasa as well as um, what we found is very relevant in how long it takes for a person to awaken when they're getting regular rasa. Ramaji and I both teach together as well as separately and um, we, we both have had our own experience with the various students, how, how long this seems to take. Um, so, so we felt that if we give you guys a basic guideline, remembering that everyone's unique, anyone can awaken at any point, it isn't really up to us, it's not up to you. And what the rasa does is it basically speeds up the process. So let's ask Ramaji. Um, I really do. I'd like to know from Ram Ramaji. I think it's important everybody hears from him. How long would you say it takes for the general student to awaken, um, in your opinion, and in your experience? Well, Ross is not for everybody. Uh, I mean, you know, we're not just going to, you can just take somebody out of anybody's satsang and, give them rasa and, and they'll wake up. We, we really are specializing in people who are at end of seeking. And in your at end of seeking, then you are really available to be finished. Because seeking is seeking and finishing is finishing. They're actually two different things. We're here to finish people so that they're done and then they can go live their lives no longer as seekers. But as themselves. So can I in intervene with another question? <clears throat> yeah. Cool. Because what I'm seeing is that the, um, the, the I, I would say the, the quality of the person that comes to us recently is not only the person who's at the end of seeking. I mean, yes, the majority of them are, but a lot of them are people that are seem to be kind of really wanting to wake up, really recognizing kind of that something is amiss. And it's almost this deep yearning to be themselves act according to their own nature and all that. And the, and they, they, they figuring out via looking on YouTube and finding us somehow one, you know, through, through people or through, through other teachers, and they seem to want to awaken quickly. So would you say that it's only the people at the end of seeking or that maybe things are shifting now? Oh, well, we actually get a fair number of people that are already in non-duality, like, you know, they're in 600s, mm -hmm. uh, middle, high 600s, and they kind of know they're awakened, but they didn't really get the affirmation or the confirmation, and we give that to them. Then we give them rasa, and then they finish very quickly. I mean, I'd say if somebody's already in non-duality, say 670, mm, I don't know, I'd give them one to three months. So what would you give them to finish and go to 1,000? I'm a little bit stricter than you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I, he's probably right. I would say if you are already in non-duality, you know, somewhere between, mm, he says 670, I would say some, yeah, he's probably right, 640, 670. It's not going to take too long after that. Yeah, the reason is, is that the, the biggest jump is, is jumping from a seeker LOC, which is basically 580 and sometimes up to 584. And then there's this, this big gap uh, to being established in the 600s or established in non-duality, which is 640 and up. So there's this big jump. That's the biggest jump. And that's the hardest thing to accomplish. So once you've made that jump, then you're, you're basically good to go. It only, it's, you're guaranteed to get to 1,000 as long as you keep getting rasa. If you're seeker level, advanced seeker level, we could say end of seeking, but uh, for me, that means somebody's 560 and above. So 560s, 570s, maybe they're in low 580s because for whatever reason, the lower end of the scale seems to top out at 584. So if they're 560s, 570s, uh, low 580s, then 
I'd say maximum should take a year. And there's a few people that have taken a year and change like year and one, two or three months. But I can't think of anybody who's actually stuck with this and got the recommended number of Rosses, which is twice a month, every two weeks and, and stuck it out for a year, basically that did not awaken and either go into non-duality and then finish at 1000 or actually be at, at 1000. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it's basically, what are we saying? Basically a year. So if you're prepared, yeah, to do give it for a year, do it for a year, give Ross a full chance. And by the way, you can just do whatever you want. In the meantime, I mean, you're already mm-hmm. living a spiritual life. You probably already meditate, do yoga, mm-hmm. whatever. Yeah, you can go on your retreats. Yeah. You can see whichever teachers serves you to see. I mean, we, we, we all, always promote that a person does whatever they, they are drawn to doing because ultimately a real awakening is about just being yourself. Enjoy your life. And, and absolutely enjoying your life. Yeah. So, so, so let's, I want to talk a little bit with Ramaji about the benefits of getting the rasa regularly, the benefits of having the one-on-one sessions. And I guess, um, I guess what I don't want to happen in this interview or it's, what is it? It's a co- talk. We're talking like we're, we usually talk at home. We're sharing. Yeah, we're sharing. Yeah. Is I don't want to self-promote. And everybody may resonate with a different type of personality. And that works. It really does. I, I do believe that when you're working with somebody who you connect with, and you have that vibe with, it helps. And somebody who isn't afraid of busting your ass, because sometimes your ass needs to be busted. <laughs> right, Ramaji? <laughs> I'm particularly good at that. Um, right, Ramaji? So, so yes. Yes, Ananda. Oh, oh yes, Ananda. Yes. <laughs> okay. So true. Yeah, true. yeah. Okay, so without really wanting to self-promote what I will say is there is nothing more beneficial than a one-on-one session whether it be with Ramaji with myself with any of the rasa givers because the rasa is not our power but our power is the ability to focus so when we were in a group with all of you, it does work. And it's been fascinating for Ramaji and I to see how it actually works in a group because it's pretty new to us. Beforehand, we were doing all this one-on-one stuff. But remembering that the one-on-one activity with your teacher, when you, our focus is directed at you and then the rasa does its magic, is always the ultimate, I would say, do you agree? Well, it's uh, the ultimate yeah. way to get this... Uh, finished as quickly as possible right we've been doing the group online rosses um for about a year now and um so we weren't sure what to expect and at this point i think we would uh conclude that they're really good to give somebody a taste of rasa they're really good to pre really soften them up and prepare them and some people actually do awaken from the group rasa online uh, but in general, to finish, to awaken, to get done, to go to, to be stable in non-duality and go to a thousand, um, in practice, uh, we found that usually it takes doing the one-on-one. But the group process does a great job of convincing people that, hey, this is real and I want to do this. And, you know, uh, but it's more than just a sample. I mean, people really do um, have achieve profound changes and even do wake up from the group Rasa, but it's the one-on-one where uh, the Rasa giver focuses on you and uh, does, you know, the specific thing that Rasa does in terms of the heart and the brain to awaken you, to reprogram your brain uh, by, through that special focus, it's just the most effective. That's just what the evidence says, Mm -hmm. you know, working with hundreds of people, Mm -hmm. uh, the one-on-one is the best way to go. I must agree. And in my experience, sometimes Ramaji and I have, uh, you know, what we call our own students. So I work from home. He works from home. We don't live together yet. And so we have students. He has his students and I have my own. And there are times when he gets stuck 
or I get stuck that we just share students and we're finding more, more and more that we actually kind of enjoy the, the shifting from student to student because they're getting, you know, Ramaji's energy and my energy sometimes together, sometimes individually. And we find that it somehow speeds things up. I'm not 100% certain how that is. Maybe it's vibrational. In other words, I have a certain vibration, a place I come from. So does he. And somewhere in the middle, you know, it's not us. It's the rasa ultimately. But, you know, it just depends on, on the student, of course. We will always do what is best for the person sitting in front of us. It's really not about us. It's about you. So in our experience with a, a person in the 500s, I would say in my um, experience, it takes a year, a year of getting regular rasa. Well, Rama, Ramaji says- Twice a month, that's what, that's what regular rasa Twice means. a month. So I sometimes tell them once every three weeks. Oh, well, I like, I like just the clockwork thing. Okay, every two weeks, twice a month, and, and we have the mini rasa, which is- the Yeah. 30 yeah. minute rasa, so for basically the same price as the- as the, a full uh, session, Rasa, where you do the talking and ask lots of questions. Instead, you have 30 minutes, 15 minutes of talking and a full 15 minute Rasa. I mean, you know, honestly, if you're serious about awakening, enlightenment, and you're a serious spiritual seeker, I think you can afford, afford that. And then, you, you know, so you get two Rasas a month every other week, and then you go live your life. I mean, you know, you want to go you know, hang out with gurus and do retreats or you want to do vipassana or you want to do yoga or you want to do any, it doesn't matter. Uh, the rasa is a meditation enhancer, right? Well, oh, absolutely. There's the, you can do the, the rasa before you fall asleep, when you're asleep, while you're meditating, if you're not meditating, if you're sitting in silence, use the rasa. That's the point. Use it because it is magic. I mean, it's magic and it, it, it is, you know, I don't like to use the word magic. So, 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 so I'm sorry, but what, <laughs> whatever it is that it does, and we, we kind of know what it does because we see what it does and we've experienced what it does, but it is very um, transcendental. Well, it's magic like electricity is magic. You know, like we live in a house, you know, everybody lives in an apartment or house where oh, there's electricity right in the wall, right? It's yeah. literally there. But if you don't have the right thing to plug into it, you can't make use of the electricity. So the rasa is like the electricity, but you, you have to plug into it. And, and, and that is what this process is like. So Are you looking at yourself or at me? I, I'm, I'm looking at me, actually. I look at you too, though. I look at us. I look at me. I, oh, that's good. I like watching myself while I talk. I know that. I was just thinking about that kind of narcissism it, it, from a guru. It, 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 um, I, I think it helps me talk. I'm just kidding. I like looking like at Like a you parrot too. likes to look at a mirror, you know, and think he's talking to somebody else. I, I like looking at you too. I like listening to you. We all lis love listening to Ramaji. We really do. He has a lot of very important things to say. I don't know. I think we're mm. at the end of this video. Mm. Not really. There are more things I want to talk to everybody about today. Is that right? Yeah. So we're talking about plus minus a year. Um, if you, if you, if you really want well, to. Well, a year plus or minus a couple of months. Yeah. And remember there are the exceptions, but the exceptions are not the rule. So from my experience, I've been doing this for two years. He's been doing this for way longer than I have. And please don't, the other thing I want people to understand is please do not, um, what is the word, obsess over your LOC. It's a map, it's not the destination. You reach a certain point where your LOC becomes, it, it doesn't matter at all. It drops away completely. The whole point of the LOC is, is you're going to go past it. So it's almost like you drove past a, a, a mile mark and you look back at it. I mean, it's, it's going to be the past. It's not the future. I mean, when we give Rasa, we give it so that you'll go to 1,000 today, now, you know, not in the future. So it's just a temporary 
label. Because that is the message. If there was a message I'd like to tell people is that it can happen now. And the Rasa is the technology that can do this for you right now. We have belief systems. We have been conditioned. We have conventional understandings and, and, and we've, that, that block this. But the Rasa will make sure that whatever isn't meant to be there gets looked at, gets witnessed, gets the awareness, sees it, and it gets dissolved so that whatever needs to happen happens and it happens now quickly this is it so that's really important to know um and not to obsess over your locs please and well, then, a lot of people think uh, have a belief whether they realize it or not that it cannot happen now you know well, that's what blocks it from happening lots now. of teachers are implying it's a very progressive path it takes time you got to do this you got to do that lots and lots of teachers are saying that and what they don't understand and what the student under, doesn't understand is that reinforces that belief of not today sometime in the future it, it reinforces every belief it actually what, what those what those it, it's subtle but and i don't think that anybody means anything other than wanting the best for the students sitting in front of them and that includes oh, other teachers correct yeah but i would say the subtle implication is that we have something you don't you need a guru you need something to happen, in other words, in order to attain a state that they have that you aren't capable of that having. That you don't have. You know, and, and what yeah, Ramaji and I understand fundamentally, and this is the, the truth of all truths, is there is nothing else but this here now. And they, it, the truth has to apply to all, everybody. No guru. You know. No it, guru, no student. Yeah. You know, you have to claim it, though. You know, you can't claim it for yourself and not claim it for the person sitting in front of you. you. You can't say I'm awake and I'm all this, this, and that the person in front of you or whatever it is, isn't that because the teaching is that we are all that. So, so, you know, and I think that is really the bottom line about reaching um, a thousand. Yeah. I am. That means you are that. Okay. And so there really isn't um, a student there. You know, I mean, if we give Rasa to somebody, let's say they, they pop, uh, you know, they go to Nandui, they go to a thousand in a, in a couple months. Okay, so what were, what were we? We were a guru for two months. You were a student for two months. I mean, that's like meaningless. I mean, so what are we? We're friends, maybe coaches, you know, we're coaching you. But, but the Rasa is a new we're paradigm. We're busting them as well. Yeah, yeah, we're busting the old paradigms. Mm -hmm. We're busting the old belief systems. The Rasa enables us and anybody else who's giving Rasa to actually Bull, bulldoze right through all those old belief systems that don't work anymore. You do not need a guru. You've got it in your hand, but somebody still has to point it out to you and say, hey, open your hand. Here is the diamond. Yeah. And that's what the Rasa does. It's a new spiritual technology. It's a yeah. spiritual internet download that has that power to Reprogram your brain so you can actually see who and what you really are and what you have right now. And it's, it's, it's beyond empowering. Really, it really is. and a map of understanding how to get there and if they're getting there and why they're getting there point by point by point. And if you, you know, so that they don't have to ask, they can, they can know. Yeah. It's going to be good. It's going to be fun. Yeah. It's going to be powerful. Yeah. We're very excited about yeah. it. And the other work we are working on is um, the post 1000 issues that have come up over the years. I mean, there are, there are so many. I mean, can you believe it? There is not a single book on post-awakening. I mean, there are some teachers, a few, Adi Ashanti has talked about post-awakening. So, you know, good for him. And mm -hmm. we appreciate everything he's done mm -hmm. and said in that area. But there's actually not a single book about that. It's all about getting there, what, it, what, what would it be like if, or something. But there's nothing about afterwards. And 
after you awaken, after you get to 1000, after you've realized your true self. And because we've dealt with hundreds, literally hundreds of people, we now have all kinds of insights and recommendations that we're ready now after several years of working together, plus uh, what I did, you know, since the beginning of Ross in, in 2011. Now we're ready to talk about what really happens after awakening and blow away a lot of misconceptions. And, and in what we could say in essence is, it's, it's beyond anything you've imagined it to be. And yet it's not anything, it's not about what you thought was cool about it. It's, it's so hard, you can't even, we're gonna do our best. Okay, but. yeah, because it's an in, in, ineffable indescribable well it's, like it's, this whole thing about bliss it's misleading to talk about bliss mm. because what it's really about is being a human being more truly being a human being so that the ordinary becomes extraordinary exactly. the freedom Everything becomes is precious not needing anything to be other than becomes this. precious this is it so precious See, who, who, who wants to have some, no one be blasted by some, you know, I mean, you know, bliss thing. I mean, you don't need to add anything to this. Mm -hmm. This is so special as it is. Yeah. That's, you know, you know. And, and also to understand that, you, you know, that the, the ego is a trickster, you know, a spiritual ego, you know, the, what, what in Zen they call the stink of enlightenment. When you have to proclaim your thousandness, your enlightenment, come from a place where you, it's subtle, but you still feel this elevation. I know more than the person sitting here. Yeah, you're feeling a difference between you, you and know, them. There is yeah. still that difference. So post a thousand, what you have to recognize is there is a tendency for that to come in. That's why I always say, let there be an integration period where you are with yourself as a degree. Oh yeah, at least a year. At least, yeah. you know, we say six months to a year before, yeah. you know. But I'm being, I'm leaning more and more towards a year because what you, 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 your a tendency, the tendency of an ego mind is to, I'm at a thousand and say it, and it's and it's it's it, it's missing. It's still missing because there's nothing to say, and there never was about this for particular some people, state. six months is enough but for other people a year or even longer and it some people have a lot to process actually because when the mind was sitting on this stuff it didn't want to look at it didn't want to deal with it no matter how much the person tried but when you go to a thousand then you know the ego i thought is gone or you could say the resistance is gone and now it all can come up so it's very very different mm -hmm then but once it's gone it's gone and that's the beauty of it you you know and you are in no rush it's okay if this comes up the processing is automatic it's, it's going to happen effortless exactly amount of humility and understanding about what this really means to live here live from this place and it takes time. So anyway, so are we done? Um, I think so. Anything else you want to say? Uh, uh, well, uh, just that um, uh, Rasa is real. You know, it, it, um, it, it really works. We're, we're in such a privileged position as human beings because... Uh, as vehicles or channels for the Ross, it's not our personal energy. We are in a position to witness basically miracles. We we see people wake up. We see people's lives transformed. Um, it's just it's just the most wonderful thing. Mm -hmm. And um, doesn't mean it doesn't take time. Doesn't mean there isn't work. Doesn't mean there isn't coaching. But you know. Um, yeah, it's it's just amazing. It's fantastic. It really is. So we 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 feel very blessed. We're very and, blessed. And and um we we're very grateful. And and we honor you all and we encourage you all to get your rasa and to to do whatever you yeah. need to do according to your nature 
to awaken as soon as, as, as possible. Yeah, this is real. Go for it. Uh, it shouldn't take more than a year and, no, and no. twice a month. And that's that. You know, go ahead and live your life. We have no, no rules um, other than, because everybody that comes to us is cool. You know, they got, you know, they meditate or whatever. I mean, we're not, we're not here to tell you what to do. We're not teachers. We're activists. We're finishers. Okay, we're doers. We're going to make it happen. Mm -hmm. So if you're ready to make it happen, you're ready to finish, you're ready to get done, you're really ready to, for self-realization, go to 1,000, you know, you know then. Mm -hmm. And when you get this, guys, when you get home, you know, when you, when you realize you've always been home, you never left home, then you will join us and we can all have a toast. To you, to, to the self. To you. That you are and that we are. And um, it is worth it. It is worth it, only we don't know how to describe it, and neither has anybody else in all of history, but it's worth it. The stateless state. So we'll drink to that. Bye-bye.